Hello, I'm Emmanuel Detsis from the European Science Foundation and I'm here in Brussels with the ProRes project. ProRes is a Horizon 2020 uh, funded project from the Commission with the aim of promoting the use of ethical evidence in policy making. We are at a conference where we have asked stakeholders from all areas of non-medical science to come and discuss together the intricacies of uh, giving advice to policymakers. We are also asked for your help in order to, for us to understand and codify the issues that are um, present in this topic. So, if you have something to say, please engage with us and together we can uh, try to identify the ethical guidelines regarding evidence in policy making. Thank you. I'm Elaine Morley. I work for UK Research and Innovation. I work particularly on research culture and ethics. I've been involved with this project uh, for since, since its beginnings. Um, I think it's a very uh, sensible initiative. I'm particularly excited about the development of a framework uh, for research integrity and ethics. Um, and look forward to continuing to work with the ProRes team. It's been a great pleasure to address this morning the um, ProRes conference which is being held in Brussels. It's part of this ongoing project which tries to bring the world of policy analysis and the world of professional researchers together to bridge that divide and make sure that there is much more mutual understanding and exchange between the two. This is a European public good in its own right and in the work that I do in the European Parliamentary Research Service we're trying in our own relatively small way to promote that interface. It's been a great pleasure for me this morning to chair um, a session in the conference, the ProRes Conference on Ethics and Scientific Evidence, um, with Anthony Teasdale, Director General of the European Parliamentary Research Service, an extremely important service as we've been uh, learning this morning, which has been growing in size and capacity since it was established by, indeed, Anthony Teasdale. Um, in the ensuing exchanges, we covered various issues such as ethics, um, the ethical use of scientific evidence, uh, the use of think tanks, the role of think tanks, how think tanks differ from the research service, and also how the European model differs from the model of the CRS in the United States. Okay, so I am Emily, I work in uh, CNRS, which is the French National Centre for Research, and uh, I mainly work on uh, social and science humanities. And at the moment, we are uh, creating a research infrastructure called OPERAS, uh, which is specialized in open scholarly communication. And we are quite uh, involved in ethic issues and ethic behavior because we uh, focus on um, data, open science data. And uh, because we have many data providers, we definitely want to draw an accurate and a legal framework about those topics. So I'm quite happy to meet today the ProRes Consortium and to see how we can study some kind of partnership. We're living in a time of discontinuous change. Many of the institutions and much of their thinking is not fit for the challenges, particularly the climate challenges, that are already heading our way. That's why it becomes really important that research ethics is clear and well established at the core of thinking how we shape tomorrow rather than chase yesterday. Hello, my name is Helena Ingard. I'm the director of research ethics committees in Norway. I'm very happy to be a part of the Progress project. I know from my experience in Norway that it's very important that we have this discussion about all the challenges and has principles that arise in other areas of research, not just the medical area. In Norway we have these guidelines, we have drafted for science and technology and social sciences and humanities, and we know that there are so many issues that need to be discussed also when we use research in society, and that's why I'm happy to be a part of this.